Hey everybody, it's Ryan with Ryan Industrial coming at you today from the uh, garage. We're going to go ahead and work on a project this evening and uh, probably into tomorrow as well, but I'll, I'll record everything together. I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, decorative shelf for the house. And uh, a couple months ago I found this old fence uh, gate in the bulk trash. There's this lion there and it had that beautiful patina and the weathered look to it already. It looks like it's, it's probably pine, rough cut pine. It's got those nice... Uh, weather marks and everything. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, mimic this pattern, that, that typical Z pattern you see on fence gates. But uh, with this being 2 by 4s I just want to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and use one, of the, one or two of the extra pickets that I'm not going to need and go ahead and mimic that support. And then what I'm going to do is if I hope probably won't be able to use this. I'll probably have to use a piece of material like a pallet material or something. I'm going to go ahead and stagger some shelving. So uh, a piece up here, a piece in the middle, and a piece on the side. So you can either put uh, knickknacks. I'm, I'm hoping to actually put uh, framed pictures, you know, three framed individual pictures. So uh, that's what we're looking at right now. I'm going to go okay, ahead and tear this thing apart. I was getting ahead of myself and <laughs> forgot the, the video. So I'll fill you in where I'm at. I went ahead and tore all the pickets off. So there's the original 2x4 framing. And what I did is uh, right here. Let me flip this baby over. I went ahead and uh, used a reference for the old board and went ahead and uh, just calculated how the positioning should be by lower, uh, you know, making it a smaller gate. So I went ahead and uh, evenly sized things up. I went ahead and used my brad nailer here with one inch brads. I tested one board with the one inch brads and it was really holding really well. So I didn't need to glue or maybe go with screws or anything like that. And then um, went ahead, went across, used my hand saw here and hand uh, cut these. And then what I did is I just went ahead and lied a board like this, made a, a mark here here to get that 45 degree angle and so this is what it's looking like so far so this will be on the wall there and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this a little bit I'm positioning the shelves right now so I'm gonna do like one shelf right here and I'll have to trim this another one right here so I'll be able to get uh, three shelves that are intertwined maybe maybe right to left and that way we can uh, go ahead and put a picture on there or knickknacks or whatever like I was saying. So that's where we're at right now. And uh, when I get the uh, shelves on and get a little sanding done, I'll come right back. All right, well, we are done here. Here's the final product. Um, what I ended up doing is uh, using the uh, tailing pieces when I trimmed and, and shortened the, uh, the height of the uh, the gate and uh, sanded these babies down real good no splinters or nothing I had to sand the whole material down lost a little bit of the patina on it but um, it was very coarse and rough and I was worried about splinters and um, man I just don't like splinters so you can still see the uh, that, that dark spots in the veins there and, and just the uh, the nail marks and all that good stuff and even a knot hole here so I went ahead and, and, and picked the better pieces to uh, use. There's some older material, other material. Good part is the uh, next project I can use that for. And um, after uh, gluing the back here and brad nailing through the back, um, the, the shelf was still a little flimsy. It still wasn't that sturdy. So I went ahead and just built this, these gussets here real quick out of some material with the handsaw, sanded them down roughly, and... Um, went ahead and just uh, three brad nails, three brad nails, um, just to give it a little extra support. I'm pretty sure when that glue dries it'll even be much stronger at that point, but um, I figure at this point, you know, you can fit maybe three to five pounds per shelf if you want to put, uh, you know, knickknacks on here, or some collectibles or anything like that. And um, yeah, that's it. I didn't uh, do anything with the tops here. I left them nice and uh, rough. If it's just... Uh, can't mimic that anywhere and um, I'll go ahead and hose this off tomorrow but I'm not gonna put any linseed oil or anything on it I'm just gonna leave it raw like this it's gonna be indoors so um, 
it uh, won't be in the weather and uh, should last many many years and um, here's a the picture frame I used is a picture of me and my son golfing many years ago he's now uh, almost as tall as me so this was quite a long time ago but uh, use this to um, just get an idea of where to put the pictures um, make sure you know there's clearance between the shelves and uh, it fits just perfect and uh, with this there wasn't a quite enough room to um, you're not going to be able to use your your bracket there your post uh, so just going to be able to just rest it up against the uh, the back of the the uh, fence there or the gate and uh, that's the final product I think it turned out great um, when I picked up this material uh, I was lying in a big trash pile we have this thing called bulk trash pickup every quarter. You can leave a bunch of trash out and the city will come pick it up. I saw a project even though I didn't see it at the time. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, so this project was 100% free. Had the brad nails and um, the wood glue and the sandpaper left over from a previous project. So this is a freebie. But um, you just can't beat that nice aged patinaed look. One of the reasons I, I so enjoy working with pallet wood and uh, reclaimed lumber. It's also nice uh, to use uh, as you're gaining experience. Like I am learning how to build and, and do these projects. So if you do make a mistake, you're not out a lot of money, just time. And uh, you learn with, with every mistake. So this uh, project here, um, I probably have two hours wrapped up into it. Uh, once I finish it up for tomorrow, you know, hose it off and do a little more fine-tuning on the sanding on the edges here if I find any uh, rough edges or anything like that and uh, then mount it up on the wall. So uh, not too bad and a quick easy build and uh, if you have a brad nailer, palm sander, and a handsaw, you're good to go. And uh, that's it. So that's the project for today, a uh, shelf made from a reclaimed fence gate. As always, I'm Ryan with Ryan Industrial. Thanks for taking time to watch my videos. Please like and subscribe, and uh, have a great day. Peace.